Dunedin TV presents your local weekly morning show from delightfully different Dunedin. Featuring Justin Cattaccio with Caitlin Hart. Including a musical performance by a local artist and in-depth conversation with people in the know. This is Good Morning Dunedin. Good morning, Dunedin. Welcome back to your favorite little local morning show. I'm Justin Gattaccio, and I'm here with Caitlin Hart. Good morning, Caitlin. Good morning, Justin. We are live from the downtown Dunedin Market here in the heart of beautiful Dunedin, Florida. So, um, thanks for tuning in this morning, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or local Dunedin TV cable channels 15 and 639. However you found us, thanks for watching your favorite little local morning show. So uh, what you been up to, Caitlin? So I finally got to go to Bush Gardens again. Oh, I haven't finally. been to Bush Gardens in almost a year. So that was a lot of fun. Rode all the rides and got to see some animals. So nice. there was a couple birds that I got to go encounter with. Oh, yeah. And... I think we have a picture of that Seth in the uh, media folder at the very bottom, probably. I saw them. Yes, little parrots. They were all over me. It was so cute. And then <laughs> um, there was another bird that just kept following me. Nice. It was the cutest thing ever. That's good to be back at Bush Gardens, I bet. It was. Oh, so here's oh, the there's a bunch of birds. photo. <laughs> Yeah, I like that, that was, mask. Thank you. That was the other thing I was excited about. They had these really cool animal masks there. I had a let me guess a giraffe. giraffe. Of course, <laughs> you know it. <laughs> yeah, that, there is oh. the one, the mask yeah, shot. Yes, so giraffe and gorilla. We went perfect with. for Jacob. Was, yeah, <laughs> perfect Love eyeballs that. too in that picture. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Good, good. I had a pretty busy weekend. Uh, we went out uh, kayaking on. From, uh, honeymoon Island. That Ooh, was nice. That's always nice. Finally got yes. out there and JC really liked the kayaking. She was uh, totally against it at first, but uh, once we got there, she had a blast. So maybe you could take her out sailing next time. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> my wife and my kid are both scared, scared to sail with me. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> All right. So that's enough catching up. What uh, What's going on in the community corner, Caitlin? I know we're not doing the... the senior santa silver santa's yeah, thing because that that's gonna be a really cool one me and my mom were actually gonna try to do that one but we found out all of the names were already chosen so yeah well that's, that's great it. everybody's yeah. gonna get a gift this year mm -hmm. so excited about that kind of sad i didn't get a help with that but it's always next year yeah all right so what else do we got going on so besides that um this week we had welcomed our new commissioner to the city commission as well as welcoming back another four years to our mayor mayor julie ward bajowski we got uh commissioner deborah kines there on the left commissioner jeff gow uh the mayor julie ward bajowski is another four-year term uh commissioner mo freeney uh was re-elected to another term uh she ran unopposed and then commissioner john Tornga there on the end beat out uh, Mike Quill for the seat three. That's so great. that's our commission for another Love all few the different years masks. anyways. Yeah, They're right? all pretty Dunedin-y. <laughs> so a new initiative by Commissioner Jeff Gow is going to kick off. Uh, we kicked off last night at the commission meeting where um, it's an I Led the Pledge program. Oh. And it's, open, it's an open invitation to city employees school age children to lead the Pledge of Allegiance at the live meetings at City Hall. And uh, I hope my second grader, JC, just might have to do this one time. She's pretty proud of her uh, <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance. Um, that would be super cute. And you can tune in uh, first and third Tuesdays and Thursday nights, uh, or Tuesday mornings and Thursday nights. Yes. So. All right, so let's get a quick update on the Gladys Douglas Hackwork Yeah, so a quick preserve. update on the preserve. The city and the county are working together with private zoners. So with private zoners to raise funds necessary to buy the property and keep up the land to this natural preserve. 
To donate and sign the petition to save the land, you're going to log on to penelluscf.org. Lower third there. Slash save dash the dash Gladys. Gladys. Dash. Yeah. Save the Gladys Douglas Preserve. With little dashes in between. <laughs> yeah. That's, it's kind of a hard one. I think we've got a lower third. I don't know. Let's see if Maybe. we got that. There it is. Okay, here we go. So you can just so read Penelis that. So org slash save the ladies Douglas Preserve. So hopefully you can get that. Yeah. Everybody can pitch in. They just had a $2 million donation. So I saw that yesterday. Yeah, so that's good news. That was and, exciting uh, to find out. So yes, save the, save the turtles and whoever else is over there. Uh, natural property. So just a reminder that tomorrow, Saturday, November 21st, is the uh, Celtic Music Festival over in Highlander Park. Uh, admission is free this year. We ask that you please follow the CDC guidelines and have a fun and safe time at the Celtic Music Festival. Wait, <laughs> Celtic Music and Craft Beer Festival. And uh, you can find more information at Dunedin Celtic Musical Festival dot com. All right. Hopefully, I can make it out there tomorrow. I will try my best. So it's always a really fun event. It is. It's a little bit different this year, so wear your mask and stuff. All right. So uh, I think the last thing we have for Community Corner news is that, uh, on a more serious note, today is Transgender Day of Remembrance. And we would like to remember those whose lives were lost by acts of anti-transgender violence. Um, so, fortunately, in Dunedin, we don't have a ton of violence. And uh, the sheriff was at the meeting last night saying that crime is down 60%. Oh, wow. um, but here in Dunedin, we welcome all races, all religions, all countries of origin. All, we welcome all sexual orientation and uh, all abilities, and of course, we welcome all genders here in Dunedin um, with open minds and open hearts. And we just wanted to say that we stand with you. And uh, we'd like to ask everybody for a quick 10 seconds of silence in remembrance of those lost to uh, this violence, all right? So, 10 seconds, please. All right, we hope that this message brings some peace to families and friends who have lost loved ones and that we shine a little light on these tragedies so that they stop and people learn to love and appreciate transgender folks for the loving and caring people that they are. Uh, we're all different. Not one of us is alike. Our differences is what makes us delightful here in Dunedin and especially in Dunedin. And if you're watching, the city of Dunedin wants you to know that you're welcome in Dunedin and that we're here and that you, we hope you feel safe here. Uh, just the way you are. So that's that's that. All right. So good morning, Dunedin. We'll return in 90 seconds. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Good Morning Dunedin. Our Dunedin TV producer, Seth Walker, sat down with Steve Littlefield in his art studio. Let's step over into Good Morning Dunedin's Art Corner.
My name is Stephen Littlefield, and I'm uh, mainly a printmaker. I'm also a painter. I've been an artist most of my life, and uh, what I'm doing uh, right now is a mezzo tent uh, prints, which is about a 400-year-old process uh, on a piece of copper and uh, no acid or any chemicals involved except ink and stuff like that. I originally I went to USF and uh, was a painter and then uh, found out about printmaking. The wonderful thing about printmaking and, and doing prints is that you can sell, uh, you can keep them, and you can also give them away. It's not like a painting or something where there's only one. This particular print is a mono print. It was done December the 8th, 1982, a year after John Lennon was killed. Uh, the title is, Oh Johnny, I Hardly Knew Ye. And uh, I did four of these, and I kept the best one. Uh, it's basically done with a pallet knife on a piece of plastic, and then you run it, I run it through my etching press. So there's only one. It, it gets to me every time I kind of talk about it, but he was one of my heroes, of course, the Beatles, you know, and to have him uh, go so soon, um, uh, it, was, it was tough, but it was uh, one of my favorite pieces. My atom-sized niche in the art world is my bromeliad prints and some of my paintings that are around the world. I went to a, a, a bromeliad show and one of the people in the bromeliad society knew I painted and said, why don't you do some bromeliad paintings? You could maybe make a, some money doing a show. So that's how I kind of got the bromeliad disease. And so to make money, I would do uh, these uh, plant shows in Sarasota. And every two years, there's a World Bromeliad Conference. For the next 30 so plus years, I Every two years I do a world conference and sell my prints to people from around the world. My, my bromeliad images are from South Africa to Japan and Australia and South America and in, even in this country, as far north as New York and Chicago. But uh, it was just a way for me to, to make money. Plus, uh, once you get into that, uh, the bromeliad uh, thing, they, they love benign neglect. So it's not like a plant you have to go out and deal with once a week or once a month. Uh, again, benign neglect, and they just keep reproducing themselves, and uh, you know, my yard is full of them. I think, I think in the grand scheme of things, for people to see something that they might not understand, but they want to figure out what they're looking at, it's just like looking at a Escher piece, you know, with a, this famous stairs going up and down, and uh, how could that be real, and yet he makes it look real. When I do a landscape, um, you know, you, you uh, work at a particular day, or you take a photo, or you, you try to make that uh, photo look like what you want it to be, but it's also, for me, it's based on what the sky looks like today. You know, what it looked like yesterday. I think the realism is, uh, is something that always uh, is appealed to me, but I also like to tweak the realism, uh, you know, and make it, uh, make somebody see something that they've never seen before. You know, to me, that's the kind of magic of uh, making art. I always remember my high school teacher, uh, his name was Tremaine Spencer, and he told me one time I, after looking at a landscape I did that no matter how good a sunset you paint, there'll be a better one tomorrow. I'm a very lucky person. Luckily, I hooked up with a nurse who allowed me to be an artist. <laughs> uh, uh, it's great to work, uh, hook up with somebody who makes regular money that most artists don't make regular money. So. But I'm also very lucky to hook up with uh, the Dunedin Art Center and uh, being uh, teaching there for 27 years. I started their printmaking program and uh, they're still doing it. Back in 1979, a guy named Lloyd Jones, who was a sculptor, uh, he, he had taken an etching class and said, why, uh, 
why don't we build an etching press? And uh, well, since then we've built six etching presses. Uh, one of them is at the Dunning Art Center. Well, I, I think one of the things about the COVID thing is the not having outdoor art shows or even openings. You know, it's just like the Dunedin Art Center. This is the first year in the 28 or nine years I've had pieces of work in their Christmas show that there isn't an opening. You can walk through there, but there's no opening reception. There's no where the artists are, walk around and you can meet people that like your work. I think that's one of the biggest difference today is that with the COVID, a lot of artists are showing their work online um, and I, I, I don't know if they're selling it or not, but uh, anyway, it's, it's an interesting time. I'm glad I'm as old as I am to not have to go through this, uh, you know, how do you get known? How do you show your work when there's no shows? Good morning, Dunedin. <laughs> or hello, Dunedin. It's about time you all woke up. Since we are coming to you live from Dunedin Downtown's Market here in Pioneer Park, we'd like to highlight a vendor. Justin? All right. All right, welcome uh, to the downtown Dunedin Market. And uh, we're going to go visit with a vendor here. Let's see. Um, these are the, uh, not the Steve Spathoff oranges, not to be confused with Steve Spathoff oranges. These are uh, the branded oranges by, well, let's, uh, let's get the story from our uh, friend here. Hi there, my name is Katherine Janice and I am here helping out my friend Gail. Uh, she is the artist of and she basically paints the Florida orange on anything that will hold still. <laughs> yep. I love it. Yeah. Alright. Um, so she's got a little bit of everything. Coasters, keychains, little tags. These actually have been very popular for ornaments this year, oh yeah, sure. which is clever. Um, hats, totes, etc. So, Great. yeah. How do you like the market here? Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. The weather is perfect. This is um, our third third uh, Friday, so we're out here. Uh, the first one was really, really hot, so the weather is perfect today. All right, well, thanks again, and uh, everybody come out here for the some, some nice wares. We're gonna, uh, thanks again. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, I guess that's about it for now. All right, back to you, Caitlin. Thanks, Justin. Everything looks amazing. I just love the vendors here at the Denny Downtown Market. Shout outs? I think it's time for, time That's for birthday shout outs. I was waiting for you to double check. <laughs> All right, so it looks like it's time for some November birthday shout outs. So, happy birthday to one of my lifelong childhood friends, Kathy. We both grew up in Dunedin and went to school together here. And so, Ian, so happy birthday. Happy birthday to Angelica, one of my old USF classmates and friends. She just got her bachelor's degree in mass communications this past spring. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Alicia. Her birthday falls on Thanksgiving every seven years. Alicia works for the city over at the pool. She we wanted does. to highlight uh, the fact that she works for the city of Dunedin because we love our employees here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, happy birthday to Holly. She loves driving her golf cart to Dunedin Happy Hour in downtown. There we go. All right, happy birthday, Noah. Noah just turned 13 today. So happy birthday. He is a movie buff and he loves Legos. Happy birthday, Noah. And happy birthday to Jasmine. It's actually Jasmine without an E. Um, she is one of my best friends. She knows how to play poker. She's never broken a bone and she once tried out for a Reese's commercial. Happy birthday, Jasmine. So we're going to take a quick break, and after we come back from our break, we'll have on the wonderfully talented musician Danielle Moore. Stay tuned.
welcome back to Good Morning Dunedin. We are going to take a look at our musician here. I think they're heading over to her right now. Danielle Moore's a wonderful musician. She's going to play us a little, a little, little song. Hello, Dunedin. <laughs> Hi, Danielle Moore. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm down here at the downtown Dunedin Market till 2 o'clock. You can check me out online at daniellemoremusic.com, M-O-H-R. song that my band Honey What will be releasing is called Wicked. Searching through my heart Mountains in the valleys Don't make me feel worldly I was hoping For some solace In the loneliness I was hoping For some clarity In the unrest You told me you lost your way On the yellow brick road Tell me you threw your soul into the great tunnel on you, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Tell me you got caught up in the poppy store. Tell me you got swept up in the twister store. Oh, you, For the numbness again Out of times and out of minds Abuse the user I was praying for the easy way in On the outside Longing for the perfect disaster I was hoping For some solace In the loneliness I was hoping For some clarity In the unrest Tell me you lost your way on the yellow brick road Tell me 